Uh, hey guys, how's it going? Uh, it's been a week since I put out a video. It's been a lot of family stuff and crap going on there that I uh, had to be taken care of and uh, I just haven't had time. <clears throat> but anyway, um, I'm going to be going into work shortly and uh, when I get there I'm going to give you the uh, quickie update, so to speak, on the uh, 56 Merc uh, job that we have and show you where we're at on that. Um, I said be a minute two minutes something like that and then uh, when I get home after work I'm going to take it in a little different direction I'm waiting on some stuff for the 51 uh, it's kind of holding me up a little bit so uh, I should have it by the end of the week but whatever so uh, in the interest of keeping busy uh, which has never been a problem for me <clears throat> uh, I'm going to do something a little different um, I wanted to do something with my daily driver so uh, when I get back from work, uh, we'll get into it. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Stick around. All right, so uh, 56 Mercury. After a whole bunch of sanding, um, this thing is ready to go back into the booth. We're going to have to spot prime down here. It was just a couple of bubbles in the black part. Um, <clears throat> this is ready for paint um, the roof is done and ready for paint as well we're going to be blending into the doors for this color um, so yeah there's a fair amount of work the roof is going black it's in really good shape it looks good now uh, it was wavy as hell but uh, we straightened her out and then uh, the hood required a boatload of work. Uh, I ended up skimming the whole hood to straighten it out. It was wonky as hell. Um, I think this thing was off a car and in storage for quite some time because there were a lot of dents coming from the underside out. Uh, <clears throat> but it's pretty straight now. It looks good. So it's ready to be primed. Uh, it'll be blocked one more time. And then the whole car is ready for, uh, for paint. So uh, yeah, it's moving along. This thing should be done probably mid next week, ready to be picked up. Yeah, it's going to be a good looking car though. So there we are. That's the update on the 56 Merc. I wonder what's, uh, what kind of coolness is going to be coming in next. We'll see. All right, so here we go. Um, my daily driver. 1978 Chevy square body pickup, regular cab, long box. Uh, this one has a 305 in it that's getting pretty tired. Um, so that's a long term thing yet that runs and drives. It'll get me through the winter the way it is. <clears throat> but what I want to do with this thing is uh, get it close to, uh, as close to I need to, to uh, before I have to take it apart to paint it and all that stuff. So I'm going to do a bunch of the body stuff ahead of time, uh, get everything in epoxy primer. Uh, you know, if I do one panel a night after work or something like that, I'll be doing good. And uh, yeah, so I'll grab the camera and uh, take you a quick rock around, walk around, show you what it's all about. Because this truck, truck looks a lot better than it is. Um, it's got a lot of issues, especially body issues. Um, so yeah, I'll just grab the camera and show you. So, they're good looking trucks, I love these things. So you can see the, the hood gap here. The hood is kind of bent upwards like so, and it's been bent more places than once. I actually beat it with a hammer to straighten it out once because it almost bent in half. Um, and then this gap is absolutely horrible. So, uh, you know, there's five eighths <laughs> of the gap in there. Throw a small cat through that. Um, the fenders are new-ish, and they're not in bad shape at all. Uh, the one on the other side, I believe, has a good... Yeah, it's banged up down here, but I can, I can fix that. Other than that, the steel is all good. This one hasn't been bondoed and everything else, so it's not bad. I can live with that. We'll fix it. And again, the door fitment is terrible. The hood, you know, look at look at all that fits. It's, it's awful, you know. Um, a little bit of bubbling going on around the windshield. All the usual stuff on these things. 
Uh, doors don't close with a shit because they're so badly out of whack. And you know, the thing that's closed tight and you know, you can stick your fingers in there. So it leaks and everything else and whistles and it's noisy as hell to drive. Uh, you know, the, uh, the uh, body lines don't line up, fenders and doors. And the box looks okay, but uh, it's been the victim of a very bad body job. Um, you can see where the old gas door hole was. So, you know, it's like uh, they glued a piece with panel bond and painted it. And that was it. And it's wavy as hell all along the top of this thing. Um, <clears throat> and the rust is starting to come out. There's no holes yet. It's not through. Everything's solid. So now's the time to get it, right? Before it does start coming through. It's got gravel guard up to here. You can see the line. So when you got, you know, a foot of gravel guard at the bottom of a truck, uh, they're hiding something. Some rust in the doors. Um, solid gold tailgate, cool. But it's in really, really good shape. Not much to do there. But again, gaps, you know. Gaps are horrible in this thing. I would show you the box floor, but it's absolutely full of scrap metal. I've got to bring to the scrap yard, so uh, it's... It's gone. It needs a new floor. I haven't decided whether I'm going to go with a wood floor or buy a replacement steel floor. Um, I have chrome rear bumper for it and a bunch of taillight lenses and stuff like that. I do have rally rims, but I think I'll keep these and just boost them up. And again, gravel guard foot foot up. And it start, rust is starting to come through. You know, there's some dings and dents here and there, and it's it's a little wonky and wavy. Um, I'm not sure what's going on with this. I don't know why it has a round. Maybe you know. Did, did the early ones have a round gas door? And this thing must have had dual tanks or this box side was replaced with another one or something. I don't know. And you can see the rust starting to come through there. So that's all got to be cleaned up. And again, you know, horrible door gaps. Doors that don't fit with a shit. Got a ding here. Um, you know, the stainless and stuff's pretty good. I have a sliding rear window for it, so that's cool. Um, what else? Oh yeah, all the rubbers are shot. You know, this thing, like I said, it whistles, it howls, it rattles, it buzzes, it does all kinds of things. It's noisy as shit. Um, so yeah, uh, the rockers have been done, and they're okay-ish. Uh, but I know this thing needs at least front cab mounts. Um, so... That's a job in itself. And then the interior needs to be redone. Uh, this dash, let me see if I can, uh, I'll come back to the interior later. It's just a pain in the ass right now. So like I say, this thing's a V8 305, pretty tired. I'd like to build another motor for it. I have a small block, 350, four bolt main that uh, would fit in here nicely and uh maybe spruce up the turbo 350 that's in it see what happens you know might have to beef up the rear end after because i'm thinking of going 383 stroker so we'll see i know one thing though underneath the frame and all that is good and i epoxied everything underneath uh when i got the truck two years ago uh so it's not bad even the box floor the the braces the crosses are good it's just the floor itself is rotten um, maybe get a new front bumper for it. It's getting a little rusty. But uh, other than that, you know, but I want to fix it up as I go, like I said. So I'm probably going to start with a box side. Um, the stuff inside doesn't mean anything. I'm just working on the outside. So, uh, yeah, maybe I'll set up the camera and get started. So there you go. That's the project. Any tips? Let me know. <laughs> I need all the help I can get. <laughs> all right, here we go. So, I've got my DA sander here, 80 grit disc.
sorry I started this. <laughs> So, I'm not exactly sure what they did here, <laughs> but I know this much. <clears throat> now you can see the faint line here, and it's, but it's just there and disappears down here. It looks like maybe kitty hair, fiberglass repair, I don't know. But I'm going to have to gouge this out for sure and see what's going on. Uh, might end up cutting out the whole piece and welding in a new one. I don't know, but uh, It's not very pretty I can tell you that And I've already got a couple of dents here and here and I think I have company that just came in the driveway, so I'll have to stop for a few minutes so Anyway, it's gonna carry on see what other Wonderful surprises this has for me. Okay, I'm just going to carry on with this and uh, maybe get half a box side done tonight. I don't know. It's going to be dark soon, but I'm just going to carry on. All right, so I don't know if I've told you this, but I absolutely despise Gravel Guard. I hate it. Um, <clears throat> in this case here, it was here to hide stuff. And uh, most of the time, that is what it's on a vehicle for. So, uh, you know, you're not hiding anything because... As soon as I see this, I know there's a problem, or pretty much think there's a problem. So, especially when it's up this high. So there's some rust under here, uh, a little bit. It's not true or anything like that, but it's surface rust. Instead of just using the sander, I've already gone through two discs. I smoothed it out pretty good in the top part here, but all down here from the, the lip up to about here, I'm gonna strip the bare metal. Uh, I think it's just the right way to go. So, yeah, I'll uh, finish this section here that's still shiny and see how far I get. But uh, I doubt if I'll get the whole side done. The sun is going down quickly. So, uh, yeah, I'll get as much done as I can, and that's it for tonight. All right, so there you go. Uh, got to jump and start on it. Um, you know, like I said, that gravel guard. This guy was even nice enough to put gravel guard on the top of the box. So... 
Um, I got the side done, and uh, I didn't get get a strip of bare metal. I'll do that tomorrow night. Um, but you know, I'm going to use half a dozen discs on one side, one box side. These things aren't cheap, man. So <clears throat> you know, you, you uh, it's going to use three times as many as what I normally would have needed if, if it didn't have that gravel guard all over the freaking place. So, yeah, I hate that stuff. Don't use it unless you absolutely have to. Maybe on a work truck, you know, or a farm truck, uh, you, you're going down dirt roads all the time and stuff. Sure, I get it. But uh, for uh, for a hot rod or a street cruiser, no. It doesn't do anything. Um, it might help with stone chips. That's about it. Might. As far as I'm concerned, anyway. You can... Blast me in comments if you want. Tell me I'm full of shit, but whatever. I just don't like the stuff. I've never seen it actually save a vehicle or do anything to help it. So it is what it is. Anyway, that's just my opinion. Uh, I like smooth. Smooth and shiny is good to me. That's what I want. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah. So I'm going to do just a little bit at a time. Uh, hopefully my stuff comes in for the 51 very soon. Um, I'm thinking probably by the end of the week. So... Uh, yeah, we'll get going on this thing again, man. I got to get this thing out of here. Winter's coming. Unbelievable. Again, <laughs> I get burned every year. Anyway, uh, if you like the content, please subscribe. Uh, tell your buddies, you know, help spread the word. And uh, don't be shy. Leave comments down below. I always try and read them and respond to them. And, uh, yeah, if you're not doing anything else, get out in the garage or driveway and build something, man. Later, guys.